Hello, Prophetess Elisha. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Now, my people, we're going to be coming from my word, Galatians 5, to remind you that I do not bless those who work in their flesh. And I bless those who work by my spirit, my Holy Spirit. Now, Galatians 5, it reads in my word, verse 19. Now the works of the flesh are manifested, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, enviance, murders, drunkenness, revelance, and such like of which I tell you before, as I've also told you in times past, that which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Too many of you all are working in your flesh. And you said my son is your Lord and Savior. But you working in your flesh all the time. And think I'm supposed to bless it. Has it worked? Have you prospered? Has it been manifested the way you wanted to? Working in your flesh. Has that business flourished? Working in your flesh. Have you gotten that man and woman of God that I said I had for you, but you don't want to wait? You want to operate in source and witchcraft. Has that how's, how's that worked out for you? Also, a ministry. You want to start a ministry, and I didn't tell you to start that ministry. How has that worked out for you? How's that work for you? Idolizing everything, cars, lands, everything in the world that I could give you if you just seek my kingdom. How has that worked out for you? Let me tell you the symptoms because they manifest: vexation, torment. Afflictions, headaches, migraines, you're tested, you're argumentative, you're mean, uh, you're not happy. Then you start coveting other people. Then you start going after other people because they're actually operating in the, the people that I'm blessing in the next set of scriptures that you tend to forget. I bless these that operate in my spirit. But I'm going to tell you now, you will not inherit. It says that in my word. Go back to that word just in case you forgot. Because you're going to get trinkles and blink, blink, blinks of lips. A little bit of what I have for you. You are never going to get the fullness. Also, M Mr. Fornicators, you in our office of uh, in the pulpits. You in ministry. You called to me. And you really think I'm going to bless you with a man and woman of God. And you still dipping and dapping it. You still looking afar off. And then entertaining what you see and taking it. No. If it didn't work for David, it's not going to work for you. So, you need to start operating my spirit. Now, let's go drop down to those that are operating my spirit, the blessings that are going to come in your life. Galatians 5, verse 22. But the fruit, because if you want the fruit of the flesh, keep on operating your flesh. Rebellion is at the sin of witchcraft. If you, I didn't tell you to do that, stop doing it because you're in your flesh. And rebellion is at the sin of witchcraft, so you having witchy moments when you're not operating my uh, spirit. You have a witchy moments when you operate in your flesh and try to do stuff in your flesh the way. Flesh will dwell no good thing. My grace is sufficient, not your flesh. Now, verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against their against their, such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified. The flesh with the affections and lust. Now, if you want things to manifest the right way, this is the fruit you need to be having. And some of y'all need to stop worrying about everybody else, what they're doing. And text and call them, seeing what they're doing. And be concerned about what you need to be doing for me. Because if you operate in the fruit of the Spirit, that requires you to pray and seek my face. And, and all this stuff will be added. And then you'll have love, joy, and peace. Because you have to crucify and mortify the deeds of your flesh in the season. I am not going to elevate you. I'm not going to promote you. You're going to still stay in ground one. You're going to go around just like the wilderness folks. And then when they died off, the ones that operate my spirit, operate in obedience, do what I told them to do, seek my will in my face and do it, not regard, not caring about what other people do, then they're going to they gonna inherit the kingdom of God and its righteousness. All of it is going to be theirs. So, this is a warning. Stop operating your flesh and get in the spirit, my spirit, with the big ass and get your fast together because some of y'all got 30 days to get out your flesh and get in the spirit some of y'all got less time now because I've been telling you time and time again because much give much requires some of y'all know better 
Some I called you a long time ago, told you time, time again, stop doing it, follow my instructions and my mandate. So, your time is winding near. Get it right, get your fast together, and get out your flesh and crucify it, and be led by my spirit.